Hello. Welcome to Springy Tales on tour. Yeah, what's what's Dee said? Tour. We've been we've been busy since we last did a vlog. We have, we, we haven't got, vlogged for ages. We got married. We did. Congratulations oh, yeah. to us. It's our first vlog since we got married. We are a married couple now. What are you doing? Max is still with us. Max is still here. Max is uh, on holiday with us. We're on holiday this week. Staying in a cottage in Pickering in North Yorkshire. And today we're at Dolby Forest, which is uh, in the North Yorkshire Moors. And it's a uh, quite like a, an outdoor activity centre. There's walking trails, mountain biking trails. Yeah. There's a go ape centre down there. Visitor centre. It's through those trees down there. But uh, it's got a cafe and a shop and all sorts of things. Max is eating some grass. Seen a lot of grass. Stop You're gonna make grass. yourself poorly. Hey. Yeah, we're gonna we'll probably. I don't know if we'll just do a vlog from today or whether it'll be like a, a week long. Let's see how we go. It's like obviously we've not vlogged for a while. We have been to the parks a couple of times, not loads though. Yeah. I think um, it's just not been for us vlogging in what the crowds have been like. I, I've mainly not been bothered, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, like I wasn't. I've started missing it. Yeah. Especially when we're doing new things like this. Because I've never been there. I don't know if you have. No, no, it's somewhere neither of us has ever been before, so bit of it's fresh a, content. A nice walk for us. Yeah. And some nice scenery for you guys to look at in a minute. Hopefully. At the moment we just see some trees. There's lots of trees. And the a trees. Max one. There you go. Some trees, a max. What does the bench say? I don't know. There's something. So one day we will walk the forest of above. Oh. It's a bit morbid. It <laughs> Must be like a memorial bench or something. Well, yeah. It's a bit really inspirational. I was like, oh. <laughs> this, this bench basically says, one day you will be dead. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, bench. <laughs> <laughs> Some very big trees. It's very peaceful. Apart from Max sniffing. Uh, fantastic looking thing over there is the fantastic forest activity area looks like the, like youth groups and stuff maybe go in there build shelters sleep in the woods is that what it's, it does it say i'm looking to see if it says on here i don't think it does what does it say steve it doesn't what does it say it what does it say it does oh no. No, no oh you're not in focus ah now you're in focus i, re I reckon it is like a scout site thing yeah but you can see all the like that poop smells. <laughs> you can see all like shelters built against the trees and stuff. Yeah. Quite a cool thing if you're a kid to get into, isn't it? Or a big kid. Yeah. Steve is disappointed so. that you can't do that today. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to build the shelter. Hey, Come Max. on, guys. <laughs> you waiting Come to on. carry on? <laughs> Divi is less than impressed with the amount of hills on this walk. <laughs> Yeah, been fun though, wife. <laughs> so it said some steep inclines on the guide map. Stevie does not say that this is some. This is steep. all the steep inclines. Yeah, we're quite high up already. For future reference, for anyone who's not wanting steep inclines, this is the Dalby Beck Yellow Trail. The Yellow Trail. It did say but some. It's very pretty. But this is like our third or fourth. And we're not once it's set off. Yeah. I think well, once you get to the top, you can't go up anymore. Working off that Chinese from last night, this is what this is. Yeah. Punishment. I bet there'll be a nice view when we get over there. I was going to say, I bet there'll be a nice Chinese when we come up. <laughs> <laughs> we saw our little mouse. Yeah, the little field mouse, it's so cute. Yeah, it was just like running along the path, wasn't it? Yeah, we pulled Max back to make sure he didn't go. Great. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if he would, but I don't want to risk it. A little cute thing just like running across the path. Don't mind my so it's a pet mice. Yeah. It's very uh it was very uh, like unafraid of humans actually. Yeah. We ran towards on the path at one point. Yeah. Max, will you stop eating that grass? Hey! I like the grass. <laughs> He's tasty. Hey. Mm. That's right, you keep pace at the front. He does that so he can stop and eat grass while he waits for us. Yeah. <laughs> hey! It's the path, and then we pan over here. That, Daddy? You can see the lovely view. 
across the other side of the forest. It's very scenic, it's very peaceful. I've not actually seen anyone else on the walk so far. Look at the size of this mushroom. Let's let bit, zoom out a bit, zoom out a bit, and then there you go, there's my foot. There you go, there's my foot for comparison. It's like the same size as my foot. That's like a fairy tale mushroom, like it needs to be red and white now. Oh. Yeah. I have like a little gnome sat on it. Gnome? A gnome? Gnomes sit on mushrooms, don't they? Yeah, in your garden, but in reality, it's fairy. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is a nice view. As the forest opens up. Beautiful scenery. Looks like a happier version of the Forest. Aye. Come on. Old man, Papa. Right, we're following our yellow arrow. Where does it say to go? Wait. Right, we keep going down the hill. It does say in this thing, if you do from here, that it's a working forest, so you've got to keep an eye out for vehicles. Yeah, Max, we're not going that way. That is a silly way to go. That's the overgrown way, that way. <laughs> There's a cricket on that little rock over there. There's two. There were three. I think one was a grasshopper, though. Oh, you can hear some more over there. Saying like you can usually hear them but can't see them. Now you can see them. Can't hear this one though. This one has just dove into a bush and got covered in all sorts. Yeah, let's not do that again, Max. Got it all in your little wisp on top of your head and pulling them out yourself. Come here. Oh, Daddy, get that out. Flipping out, Max. Look what you've done to your tail, it's covered in these sticky things and it's caught over your head. What you like, eh? Daddy gonna get that out? Yeah. Wow. Continuing to follow the yellow sign. There is a warning that there's forestry work happening. Will you stop eating the grass? Come on, Bob. Be nice and peaceful if it wasn't for me shouting at Max. We've still not seen anybody. No, we've not, have we? Nice viewpoint overlooking this. I don't know, is it a stream or is it a river or a brook? It's kind of, it's had to, it's too big to be a stream, it's more like a river. There's a lovely bench here where you can sit and admire the view. What are you doing? Are you sniffing the bench? Does it smell interesting? So many people have sat here, Daddy. I can smell all the peoples. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> People sat there and had a picnic and now you can smell it. You didn't give me any, Daddy. Shh. <laughs> did not give me a video. Oh dear. Apparently I'm to take a video of this. Nice like sweet <laughs> Yeah. Herping. <laughs> Are you getting ready to do a jump scare? It's his new thing, isn't it? He hides behind corners and jump scares. But he's not very good at hiding. Scare dog. You're doing a jump scare. <laughs> Someone found a river to splash in. <laughs> Come on. What a dog. Come on then. Are you swallowing it all? Are you off the other way? Where are you going? Shake on that No. Come on then, let's go. Well done. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> Max says otherwise. Apparently this is his uh, <laughs> spirit animal zone. Are you okay there? Have you swallowed half the river? Have a minute. Come here, Max, come here. You know. Have a minute. Calm. I'm going to be calm. Go. Come on, let's go this way. Well, we go this way. Me. Come on, let's go. This yet. way. <laughs> come on. Come on, this way. No, no enough, st enough stream now. He has this thing where he just swims with his gob open. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Taking all the water, don't you, pal? It's not a good idea. Yeah. Come on, Pop. Come on, Sago. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> What's that? Where? 
You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be more specific than that. Come here. This way. Oh, oh yeah. He's that pheasant or a grouse maybe. There it is over there. Can you see the pheasant possibly grouse? I don't know what the difference is. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> These trees here were planted in 2019 to celebrate 100 years of the Forestry Commission. So there you go. Years, Aye, doing well for two year old trees. Yeah. Is that all of them? Is it? it must be, it must be all of them. Yeah. Aww. Very nice. We're going, Max. Yeah. Come on. Not far to go now. Nearly back at the visitor centre. Honestly, like, there was them few hills at the start, but the rest of it's been really nice. I mean, the whole thing's been really nice, but them so, hills weren't as bad. No, nah, they were thingy. They, they looked quite challenging, but... I stood at the bottom looking up like that, like, no. Just short and sharp, weren't they? Yeah. They weren't too bad. They've got, they're, like, a, I was trying to describe them to Alan before, but when you're in the forest and you've got, like, branch steps where you can, like, push yourself. Roots. Root steps. Yeah. You can, like, push yourself. I think it makes it easier. It does for me, anyway. Yeah, a bit of a push-up. It's just, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. And, and it's been more or less flat most of the time since then, I'd say. Yeah, I've had a, a little bit of a slight slope, but that was only for a yeah. couple of minutes. Yeah, we've not had any, any major uphill since the first, like, kilometre or so of the walk. Yeah, Matt's got a little dip in the stream, or the river, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think it's going to take a while to dry off. We're going to get in some lunch. Yeah. They sell doggy ice cream as well, Max. They do. like doggy ice cream. Right now he couldn't curl it left, he's just sniffing. Yeah. He thinks it's great with all the sniffs to follow. Yeah. He'll just conk out when we get back. The horses are plodding. you gorgeous. Yeah. I think they're getting fed. I see a person there. Or <laughs> they're being brought in, maybe. Oh, yeah. Usually they get fed in the stables. Hi, wife. Mm. We stopped for lunch. So just on a little bench around the back of the that's the visitor centre over there. Yeah. And we're mm -hmm. in a bench in the shade. Look after this one. Trace Adventures is absolutely covered in the sticky bob stuff. But dear, it's an unhappy child over there. You need to break the devastating news. What's that? What did the shop not have for Max? Oh yeah, we were gonna get Max some doggy ice cream. But guess what the shop was out of stock of Max? No doggy ice cream. Oh. We think that we um, remember a shop in Pickering near where we're staying that does yeah. doggy ice cream, so we're going to have a look there. There's a shop that sells it in Pickering, isn't there? Are you going to get some from there? We promised you doggy ice cream, you shall have it. You want the doggy ice cream? It just doesn't seem that bothered, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> so, now we're going to Pickering Castle. Drop Max off back at home. He's having a snooze. Yeah, it's a bit too warm. Bring him back out. Yeah, it'd be too warm for him. Plus, he's got to, got to stay in his lead around here all the time anyway, so. The castle's open from March to October from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So, this is the inside of Pickering Castle, or the ruins of it at least. Yeah. Wasps keep attacking me, sorry. The wasps the are following though. Stevie around. Oh, our car this morning, guys. You didn't see it. I nearly died. We'd left it parked under a tree since we got here on Friday and it's Monday now. And it had rained yesterday and like all the sap off this tree had like all stuck to the car and apparently that's really attracted to wasps. There was more wasps than car this morning. <laughs> Alan had to drive to the car park down the road to get rid of the wasp before I could get in the car because I couldn't get to the door handle for wasps. And then I've just had to take the car to the car wash after we'd been for our day out at Dolby Forest. The car's nice and shiny and not parked under the tree now. We parked it away from the tree. It's not going near <laughs> that tree again. <laughs> yeah, we just paid to come in here. How much was it? Uh, £6.50 each, Yeah, £6.50 each. It's an English heritage site. Yeah, but we might we might get membership, because I think she said it's £9 a month for couples membership. Mm. So we might just do that. Yeah, especially if we're going to uh, Whitby Abbey as well. Yeah. yeah. Whitby Abbey is an English heritage site too. 
but we're going to have a little wander up into this tower over there and then I don't know if you can walk around the walls maybe yeah all right be fine we'll have a walk we'll, we'll, have we'll see where we can go nice view from the top of the steps and now we're going inside spiders in there's spiders mm. got a love a creepy spidery castle Ooh. she's snazzy Yeah, I remember that history class at school. Mm -hmm. Do you like my arrow sound effects? Yeah. Yeah. Stevie was the a born archer, as you can see. Yeah. A little view so down there. Archery, yeah. Right, considering you can't, because you can't really see this castle from anywhere in the town until you get really close to it, it's got quite a good view, like off into the distance. Yeah. Probably not, it's probably just stop it going up there. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, it's a little like, scurry bit here too. A scurry bit. Yeah. I don't do spiders, I can see webs everywhere. The scurry bit. Yeah, the scurry bit. No blur. No blur. No blur. There we go. I think we've seen the, the inside of the tower. We're going to have a wander around that bit. Maybe if we wander around the back there. You can't see for so far. For so far. So far. So, so far. far. <laughs> so that's what you're looking at there. Oh yeah, here's a... So that's that tower, like yeah. an example of it. That would have been living quarters, fireplaces and tops, so the scary bit was toilets. Ah, I see. That's what it looks like in the medieval times, and now it looks like this. Nice and quiet down here. The old, the old castle, castleness. This is like the inner moat, I can't remember what it's called. The moat Because that... Was it the keep that was the centre of the castle? Do you not remember from like medieval studies at school? That was like school? primary school. I remember going to Chester to go and doing all the Roman stuff. Yeah. You got like the outer bit there, and then I think there was like another, this ditch that we're in now, and then like the main castle would be in the middle. No, it would help with this knowledge. What? If you've not been tight and bought that £3.50 booklet on the way in. £3.50? For English heritage. There's be signs knocking about. Mm -hmm. Paid £1.50 for a map before, and then there were three maps everywhere. Not around the forest, we'd have got lost. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the ruins of the inner bit of the castle. Hello. Hi. Have you got some interesting facts for us? This is a Roman. Yeah, this ain't a Roman castle. <laughs> <laughs> you throw, you're this. throwing bits of paper everywhere, you're littering in the heritage Very site. Bad. There's a sign over there that'll give us the knowledge. Oh, here we go. That's another three pound fifty saved. <laughs> You're such a tight one. <laughs> tight one. I've not heard that for years. Have you? Davy's gonna tell us what she found. What did you find? Roman. You found Roman. You already found the Roman. <laughs> so that was the constable's house. And what did the constable do? The constables. <laughs> The constable was appointed. It's in the sign in front of you. I didn't read that bit, I only read that bit. Managed by the yet. constable who lived in a substantial lodge within the walls. What? They don't tell you what he did though. He was in charge. He was constable in. Constable <laughs> boss. Yeah, See? a lot of the constable appointed by the king. To be a constable? Be in permanent charge. All of these buildings were in ruins by 1537. So, been, uh, well, 500 years been ruins for. That would have been like storage for wool and timber and stuff that they sold. Yeah. And then the constable would do all his constable. Oh yeah. And, uh, I don't know what this is yet. We're about, we're about to have a look. This building looks interesting. I reckon that's like a chapel. Yeah. Maybe like a chapel inside the castle. I did. I think I read before that there's a 
the chapel has been restored so i'm guessing that the fact this is the only intact building and the entire thing it looks as well the, the this is the restored chapel Are we in the grassy bits we walk the yeah she said the woman on the thing said it's all grass i went in the thing like Every, everywhere side, everywhere's it? grass she said be careful because the grass can be slippy yeah we're gonna have a look inside what we think is the restored chapel yeah, it's good, isn't it? The wasp chapel. Yeah. There you go. Tells you a little bit about Pickering. We're on the edge of the North York Moors, where trading routes from north to south and east to west crossed. And this is why an Anglo Saxon settlement grew here. Oh yeah, William the Conqueror first built a castle on this site in 1069. After the harrying of the North, what was harrying mean? I've not heard that before. Uh, when a guy called Harry was like, I'm going to be in charge of the North. And they harried about everywhere. And then he was, the, the harrying had happened. I'm not part of this explanation. Someone tell me what harrying means. <laughs> yeah, here's how the castle may have appeared in the early 12th century. We've not been up there yet. Just seen yeah. up there. Yeah, we'll have a walk up there in a minute. Ooh. Quite interesting. Lots of chapel-y stuff. Walls well, of stone. And here's the castle in the 13th century. This building dates back to about 1227. It was named, dedicated to St. Nicholas. What else is he? Famous for Christmas. Santa. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Santa. I know. The finished defences by the 14th century. The strength. No, that's the 13th. Yeah. The strengthening of the castle was complete. And it looked like this. And then that's that's where we are now. That's the chapel. Oh, so like behind the chapel was like crops of some sort. Yeah. And then that's the storage building and the constable's house. But the constable's house was originally there and it got moved there. Mm -hmm. So that would be the constable's house there. Looking very cool. And that was the... That's not the right word. I was going to say the doggery kennels. The doggery. <laughs> Have you had that, a big day? That's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Like, for... It took them like 200 years to get it like to this space, mm. but then by the 1500s it was in ruins. Everyone trashing it. Is that because it got like attacked? Yeah, it'd be wars and stuff. Maybe the last bit will tell us. And the Norman kings had a love of horses. I love this horse's face, he's like an Egyptian horse. Yeah. Snazzy. Eee. I'm a snazzy horse. Better than I could draw a horse, to be fair. Lots of Norman kings knocking about here. I need to brush up on my history. I used to be all good at history. Yeah, so it was a, the forest that we walked through yesterday. It was a royal forest. And then people had to pay the king. I didn't walk through a forest yesterday. Well. We did. Did I? Yeah, we walked through a forest yesterday. Yeah, we've been through a forest today. It's really bright behind you there. Yeah. We did. We walked through a forest yesterday, and that was the Royal Forest. My memory is terrible. And the king was bringing in 185 quid a year. Just about to say it looks like a really happy pig. Yeah, it's a slaughter of piggies. Poor piggies. Like he's just having a happy day eating his stuff off the floor. And that crazy lady comes around there. Yeah. There's a view. Which is, the, you can see there's the chapel there. Yeah. And then those great halls would have been next to it. You can see the bottom of the wall still there. But that's where people who broke the law were brought to justice. Justice. All the days are handcuffs, obviously. That poor guy's all tied up. Yeah, and it's tied up. 
There's a spooky ghost over there. Spooky. Spooky ghost. Ah, face. Is that your ghost impression? Well, got that. Ghost. I get paid well for that but... The camera's focus adjusted too slowly to make the desired impact. Is that well? Can you see the bottom? Well. No. Oh well. Looks well. like you can't see the bottom. Well oh well. Well oh well. Can hear the steam train arriving at the station. Oh there you go. We'll see steam trains on Thursday. We keep hearing steam trains today, but not seeing steam trains. But Stevie spotted another little indoor bit in the corner. Just telling us to come in. We have a look. Let's not fall over this step. What is it? Oh, the mill tower. It's where they did the milling. Oh yeah, more archering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably installed more. Yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> modern flagpole, I'd imagine. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I did archery at school, pretty good at it. Only did it twice. Might have been beginners, look. Pretty sure the arrows didn't go. No, I don't think so. But that's the sound of Beth got now. Modern arrows make this Modern sound. arrows. That's these gates. That's to stop people from walking through onto... How do you empty. walk through that? Well, if someone wa was up there, to stop them walking straight out into a sheer drop. No. I don't know. I imagine there were some steps at some point. One last little bit of sign, which the uh, camera's struggling with my shadow, but this is where I'm standing. Deal with it. Somewhere I am. Look at that. Magic. Ooh, magic. <laughs> yeah, between 1180 and 1326, successive kings strengthened the castle. It's originally built from timber and earth and later built in stone. Mm -hmm. We just heard a steam train going. So we're going to watch the steam train through the trees. There's a little gap in the trees over there. You're like in the train. We're attempting to go with Max. We're going on one on Thursday. With Max. Uh, Max has never been on a steam train before. No. He's going to have his first <laughs> steam train experience. Today we're in Whitby. Are you excited to be in Whitby? I was, I am. It's very pretty. But we thought that Max could go off lead on the beach. Yeah. That's not the case. Yeah, apparently. Mm. Till the uh, 30th of September? Yeah, it's May to yeah, September. September. It says doggies are supposed to be on a lead on the beach, unfortunately. It's uh, apparently a thousand pound fine if you don't comply with this. Mm -hmm. But it's first, I've been to Whitby as a teenager when I was like 13. Stevie's never been here. He looks nice. He's still tight and the only dog that's on a lead. Yeah, every other dog on the lead, on the beach is off its lead, even though there's a big sign saying thousand pound fine. Can't afford a grand mate. Yeah, afford him. But we're gonna go to Robin Hood's Bay later. Yeah, we might do. We'll see yeah. what's going on. Miss Davy really wants some food in the magpie, which is over there. You see the magpie cafe over there. And 
you could walk up to the whale bones up there. You could walk up to the abbey as well. Yeah, the whale bones on that side of the cliff and the abbey is up there. You can see some people at the top. Up there, 199 steps. You're looking forward to that, Steve? I can do that. Yeah. So we're now inside the grounds of Whitby Abbey. And as we joined to be members of English Heritage yesterday, while we were at Pickering Castle, we got in here for free. It's free for members. It's quite expensive if you're not a member. I think it's £11 each for an adult. So considering it's £9 a month for us both to be members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is the Abbey itself. Stevie's never been to Whitby Abbey, considering she's never been to Whitby. That's not a surprise to any of you. It's very dramatic, isn't it? Stevie's listening to the audio tour. We're taking the scenery. Oh, there's a scenery scenic van. <laughs> scenic van. Make sure he's not turning this way when we get one over. No, it's carrying on. He's going the other way. Yeah, moving on from the scenic van. A nice view of the abbey over there. And I was wrong before, it wasn't Henry VIII didn't have the monastery demolished. Oh, you were. But he suppressed Catholicism. So there were no more monks here. But the building remained largely intact until by the 18th and 19th century it started crumbling due to neglect Good which is why that. it looks like this now so there you go yeah. what does this teach you? does this teach you anything good? just tell me about the monks and what they had to do oh, better carry on learning then mm. on these various signs around the site you get these little scan points and they're how your little audio tour works so Stevie scans the points on there now plays you a little tune and then it tells you some extra information that's not on the sign. It usually doesn't play a tune, but I think this is one of the entrances, like you were saying. Like a I think, into yeah, it. behind us is the main entrance from yeah, the car park. We came in a different way. Yeah, we came in from the town on the other side. But it's a lovely view. The view down onto the town over there. Diva can smell her chips from the magpie. Mm. It's nearly chip time, Diva. It's nearly chip time. Should have had breakfast this morning. You're buying the chips, aren't you? I'm buying the chips. <laughs> Stevie's been saying all week she's getting chips and she's paying. Yeah. Which sounds like the best day. Famous chippy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's doing some weird, really slow frame rate thing. Uh, uh, Hang on a minute. Right, there we go. Figured out where I had the camera on the wrong setting. That's why it was doing the weird slow frame rate thing. I'm not liking so much. No. Are you going to tell us your story now? Some of the things are hidden. Yeah, they are. On, on this one, it's right on the side there. Can you see it on the side of the... If you scan it. It's going to tell you some more information. Mm. Dave's actually walking Max on the lead. I don't know how long it's going to last for. <laughs> we came up the steps over there and we seem to be going down this very steep cobbled alley. <laughs> it seems to just drop like a cliff. I think I might need to walk Max down here. <laughs> we didn't vlog the chips, did we? A bit late now, I'll have the gob. That's, that's the, re the remnants of the uh, magpie. That's Max's portion in the corner, his holiday portion. Yeah, we'll give Max a chip and some little bit of chips. fishies. He only ever has bacon on a Sunday, doesn't he? Sometimes. Yeah. Well, he's on his holidays, he's been very good. So he's going to have a chip when it cools down and a bit of fish. Yeah, he's been a very good bot in the back there. Yes. We've got all the windows open for him, getting a bit of a breeze. Uh, but yeah, because Whitby's... It's, it's a lovely place. It is. It's very busy though, and it's not massively dog-friendly for dogs like Max who are off lead dogs and want to run around everywhere so we've checked in and Ro Robin Hood's Bay which is a few miles down the coast is dog friendly all year round so we're gonna go there and let Max have a bit of a run around on the sand sounds like a plan yeah. and also get a drink we forgot to get a drink oh yeah we forgot to get a drink so we'll, we'll go for really thirsty to drink. I think there's some pop from yesterday left in the car door here I'm all right <laughs> so we gave up on Robin Hood's Bay we came back to Pickering we're in no the pub. 
And Max has got some doggy ice cream. What's this? Have a sniff. Is that nice? <laughs> Hello. That's tasty. Nice and refreshing. What flavour is it? It's just vanilla, this one. Yeah. Alright, Daddy needs to go to the bar. <laughs> Is that nice? Tasty, tasty. Max? Was your ice cream good? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Is that right? Me and the wasp are friends. No, it's on your head. Yeah, right. He's a good little dude. That's where the doggies here too, aren't they? You got some water over there, haven't you? Have some of your water. Good boy. <laughs> Hi Stevie. Hi. It's uh, Wednesday. Wednesday today. Wednesday already. It is. It's and we got about. a couple more days left. So we're having a bit of a, an easier day today after our exploring Whitby yesterday. Just on a local walk nearby to the cottage. So just on some of the footpaths around Pickering itself. And then we're going to have some brunch in a dog friendly cafe mm, in brunch, town somewhere. Very posh. Well, breakfast or lunch, whatever you're going to have. <laughs> Bit of a better day for Max today because it's uh, yesterday he was on his lead for nearly all the time in Whitby. Whitby was gorgeous, but I wouldn't go again with Max. It was too busy, too stressful. Yeah, it'd be, we were saying, weren't we? It'd be a nice place for like just me and you to go for a weekend yeah. with, with Max with a dog sitter or something. But no, we were hoping he could go on the beach there, and I think we mentioned that he couldn't. Yeah. So that's my watch talking. Stevie's watch likes to talk every time we complete a kilometre. Can you hear it? I don't think that's the mic's going to pick that up. Oh. But yeah, it was, uh, it was lovely. I want to go again, and we had fish and chips from the magpie. Or I had fish and chips, you had chips and sausage. It was lovely, wasn't it, that? Oh, it was so nice. But I was full for like the rest of the day. Yeah. It was very silly. Until you had a Malibu in the evening and then you yeah, got, then got the like stuff. Malibu hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Max, don't drink that oh, puddle. Dude. No. Hey. You got fresh water in your bag? Max was hinting that he was thirsty. He was drinking a puddle. So we're going to have a drink of nice clean water, aren't we? Rather than dirty puddle water. So it's like you smell like swamp now. Stinky swamp boy. Ah. <laughs> Did you enjoy the walk? Mm -hmm. Stevie was less than enthusiastic. You fibbed about the walk. I didn't fib about the walk. About the walk. It was a bit slutchy. There wasn't that much uphill though. It was fairly flat. It was very, very slutchy. The, the, the tree bit was slutchy, but so it was dry for the rest of it. You'd already done the walk before. The, the, yeah. And you hadn't like, told me that I needed my walk issue. was and now my feet are soaking. I hate Just, having my feet. Uh, stick them in the sunshine, so I'm dry. And, Max is having a nice sunbird over here. That's a nice bird. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> nice but, spot in the shade for him. Yeah, we're enjoying a pint of black sheep and a pint of orange juice and lemonade for Stevie. I'm drinking tonight. Yeah. Right now, I'll be like smashed and I'll because I'm a lightweight. Yeah. So. Going out for a meal. My, my parents are actually arriving in Pickering today because there's a steam train gala on this weekend and my dad loves his steam trains. So we've arranged to meet them for a meal tonight and tomorrow we're going steam training. With Max, which might be interesting. Are you looking forward to the steam train? No, no, <laughs> he's busy sunbathing at the moment. Very fun there, Max. That is Stevie. Yeah. Hey, enjoying your train day. Mm -hmm. Was that an egg butter? Yeah, the butter was nice, wasn't it? We're at Gromont Station. I had no idea what you're doing there. I forgot we'd start vlogging again. I know. <laughs> Apparently there's a freight train coming in a minute. My dad's gone up to the footbridge up there to take a picture of it. 
I've already been on the train. I'm going on the one in a minute. Yeah, Max went on his first steam train this morning. There's a little bit of footage from the side of the train, which you saw earlier. Well, I've inserted that. <laughs> but it's. Uh, I think, are you having a good day? Yeah. Yeah. We had a lovely walk from uh, Gothland to Gromont. Steve yeah, Steve and I think we're going to get the train from here back to Gothland again because there's lots of Harry Potter stuff there. Because Gothland is Hogsmeade Station from the Harry Potter films. So Stevie wants to see all the Harry Potter stuff, which we didn't see before. We just had a quick cup of tea and a butty there. Yeah, the wasps have been following Stevie around all day again. <laughs> It's our last day, Stevie. I can't remember when I stopped filming yesterday. And I'll film some of the steam trains. Max is uh, supposed to be tired after lots of adventures yesterday with steam trains and big hills and stuff. He's not having it though. Hello. There you go, dear. But we've packed the car up, we're ready to go, but I thought we'd, take, we'd bring Max for a little walk first. Yeah, we'll have some food in a dog friendly cafe. Just walk around this nice park. Come on, dude. I can't remember what the park's called. I'll uh, have a look on my map. Pickering Park. Pickering Park. I imagine it's something more imaginative than that. <laughs> you never know. I'll put it on a screen. What do you call it? Subtitle or something. Caption. I'll put it on a caption. There we go, on the screen. Down below. Yeah. Max is uh, just making sure he's investigated all the sniffs. <laughs> Come on. That's it from our week's holiday in Pickering in North Yorkshire. What a fantastic week it was. Just realised that we'd never really kind of wrapped up the video properly. I'm sat here editing it now, just finished editing it, and lots of happy memories to look back on. Also, lots of fairly decent weather considering since we got home, the weather's been more or less universally terrible. There's so much to do around there. Uh, we've booked to go back again in January actually, just uh, for a week in the new year. Just nice break from change of scenery i imagine it'll be freezing cold and possibly snow everywhere in the winter and there's a lot less places open i think the steam trains they have santa specials on for kids in the run-up to christmas uh, but then i think it's only it's like march uh when it starts warming up a little bit for the spring when they stop when they put the steam trains back on again and things but there's loads of lovely walks around there anyway um there's a lovely fire in the cottage in lavender cottage uh, we, um, if you check out our previous upload to this one, we did a quick tour and review of Lavender Cottage in Pickering where we stayed. So we'll definitely enjoy another trip there. As I said, we'll be back there lots of times in future. It's the first time I'd been around that area since uh, I was about 13 and Stevie had never been up there. So we really enjoyed our trip. But for now, we're going to leave it there. We will have more stuff coming very soon. We've got an exciting video coming within the next week or so with... Uh, some updates about Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Halloween and what's happening there which is an exciting thing It'd be good to get the camera back out at the parks again we'll uh, hopefully before the they start winding down for the year we'll uh, we'll see if we can get the camera out and about a little bit some of the theme parks hope you've enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching if you're not already make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye